everybody doesn't start from the same place, right? If we were to try to reach something that's up high, a high cabinet, so I'm the shortest person in my family, I'm 5'8". <laughs> Reaching things in the high cabinets is not usually a problem in our kitchen, right? My sister is 5'3". And when she comes over, right, she can't reach beyond the first level, right? If we never let my sister have a step stool, she doesn't get anything but a plate, right, in our house. So that's really what that is about, right, is that not everybody got to start from the same advantages, whether those are physical advantages, whether those are socioeconomic advantages, whether those are um, a different group advantage, not everybody got to start out the same. Um, and so that some people might need a step stool, right, and other people are already standing on the ground and are tall enough. I actually grew up in a household where education was very much promoted, but because of the fact that neither of my parents had had the opportunities that they wished they would have had. So for example, my dad grew up in the depression. He went to the eighth grade, and that's as far as he got. My mom got her GED. So they did not get to experience what I did, but they were always very supportive of education. But what happens a lot of times to first generation people, students, is they come into an environment and they have no idea what they're doing. They, they don't understand the lay of the land, they don't understand the culture. So they almost become a chameleon. You're just trying to find your way, you're trying to fit in. And so sometimes I feel, especially women, can lose sight of who they really are because they're trying so hard to fit in to that environment. So what WLI has helped me do is reconnect with who I really am and appreciate the fact that I don't have to be all things to all people. I just have to be true to myself. What's so interesting about how this is, how WLI has helped my career is that at every point along the way, I had a touch. I had someone whom I can go to and ask what, I, what may be considered dumb questions that I wouldn't feel comfortable asking anyone else. I had an opportunity for other women leaders to help me understand the tacit culture across, you know, whichever department or, or unit that I was in. Engaging in WLI helped me to understand leadership and different types of leadership and to meet a community of people who have different paths and experiences and to be able to um, share. And I think building that network was key and it's taken a while, but I think ultimately having that network um, of women leaders has been critical in my leadership journey. I'm Melissa Latimer, Kathy Jackson. I am Jenna, Mary Ann, Vicki Smith, and Tracy. Sure, Bentley. I'm Lisa DeFrank Cole, Julie Lockman. My name is Prussia Niedermeyer. It's Melanie Bay. My name is W. Constinia Charbonnet. My title is, for the purposes of this documentary, I'm the director of the Women's Leadership Initiative.